Hey, Retta. This is Virginia. And I know I already responded to your vitamin issue last night, but this is something that really um, touches me deeply because of my hypoparathyroidism. And um, I just feel like I need to um, repeat some things that I've said before. Let me start out by saying that in no way, shape, or form am I a doctor. Um, these, the things that I'm about to say I've only learned from experience and I belong to the Hypoparathyroidism Association. And that being said, there's a lot of doctors, pharmacists, um, patients um, that I converse with frequently to get answers to questions. And when it comes to vitamins, um, I don't know a whole lot about you know every little vitamin, but I do know about the calcium. Now I know um, a lot of people have tried the Bariatric Advantage. This is yes, the large container, um, and they don't like it because it's very chalky and um, the cinnamon taste is kind of strong. But um, I had to find um, a calcium that was citrate and I had to find a calcium that did not have um, um, calories in it because I have to take very large doses because I do not have a parathyroid hormone that tells my bones to release calcium and I won't get into all that again but um, I had to do a lot of research being a bariatric patient and um, hypocalcemic so this was the best for me, and um, I was, I've been taking the Bariatric Advantage Calcium Citrate now for almost going on two years, um, and they do work for me. The thing that I wanted to get across to you and to everyone else is the multivitamins that you were talking about, the Bariatric Fusion. When I first heard about them, I was just like everyone else. Wow, this is great, everything in one bottle. But my physician, my uh, primary care physician that I'm very close to and I absolutely adore, um, she is always commenting on how we're always trying to reinvent the wheel. Uh, and vitamins taking things all in, in one lump sum is not always a good thing. Um, let me get back to calcium for first of all. Those particular, that particular brand um, claims that they have calcium citrate and calcium carbonate together just to make sure that you know whoever takes it is going to absorb the calcium. In order to properly absorb the calcium carbonate, you have to have a, a lot of hydrochloric acid in your stomach and that helps absorb it, um, which a lot of the bariatric patients don't have. With me, of course, I'm suffering from um, ulcers, so I've got plenty. But nevertheless, um, that's the reason why we are recommended the calcium citrate. There are a lot of people that can and do very well on the calcium carbonate. And my recommendation to those, to everyone, when you're first starting out, it's hard to find the calcium citrate. It's also more expensive. So I would start with the calcium carbonate because there's all kinds of chewables out there, uh, different flavors. There's the Biactive, there's all kinds of stuff. And I would just take that until, you know, you've got a couple of blood works behind you and if all is going well in the calcium department, hey, you know, don't stress about it. We start out by taking um, the minimum amount of um, vitamins because we're still healing and then our doctors may up it. But the point is we don't need to be so concerned about all of these vitamins until it becomes an issue. So we're overthinking it, I believe. A lot of us don't even take any vitamins at all, which they're underthinking, so you know what I mean. So to get back to the bariatric fusion, what we need to understand is when these products come out, we are responsible for researching and really looking to see 
you know, are these really good vitamins or not? And the sad part about it is, with researching, we don't know what we're looking for. So sometimes that doesn't work, and you can't help but falling into the trap of, ooh, this is cool, and someone's recommending it, so it must be cool, and they're feeling really good on it, so it must be great. So I'm going to try it, because word of mouth is the best form of advertisement. We also need to keep in mind that when you go to these websites, they are selling a product. And we need to keep mindful that it is a product and it's a business. So they're going to put on their website as much as they possibly can, legal-wise, pumping up this product because, let's face it, they're selling this product. Okay. <clears throat> um, something else I wanted to mention about the, the bariatric fusion, it talks a lot about chelated... Um, uh, formulation formulated and let me read this real quick and I like to when I'm doing um, research on a product I like to go to websites that aren't selling a product just factual websites I'm not going to go to you know like bariatric advantage and, and read all their hype about it I want to go to um, answers.com I want to go to medline.com I want to go to you know uh, some government sites and just read what it is so Chelated minerals are specially formulated mineral supplements designed to improve absorption of these essential nutrients into the body. What makes a mineral a chelated compound is the bound, bound, I'm sorry, the bonding of the mineral to nitrogen and the ligand that surrounds the mineral and protects it from interacting with other compounds. Although chelated minerals are believed to be better absorbed within the body, studies have shown no significant difference between chelated and non-chelated. Um, forms. So in other words, it is we're told not to take iron with calcium. I don't care what this bariatric fusion is doing. I feel, in my opinion, that you're playing with fire because everywhere that I've read in my A&P class, in my nutrition class, all the classes I've taken on top of all the doctors I've, I've talked to, um, the National Institute of Health have always said do not mix calcium with iron. So whether they're bonding their um, calcium with chelated um, um, bonding materials or whatever, I wouldn't believe it. You know, why do I want to take twice of something? Why don't I just take my calcium and an hour or so later or whenever take my iron? if I have to take iron at all, which I'm not iron deficient, so fortunately I don't have vitamins. To. If they're two different flavors or two different types or kinds or whatever, you should be able to return them. $50 is an awful lot of money for you not to be able to Using use them. the bariatric fusion is go away from that website, you know, do some research on your own and read what you're supposed to be reading. The vitamin B12 should be sublingual. Um, your multivitamin should just be that, a multivitamin. All by itself, you know, with the all the different, you know, vitamin A, C, that's what you're doing it for. You know, take a separate um, calcium, like our doctors have all told all of us. And um, what else? I think that's it. Um, I take a, um, a complex B. And, uh, oh, and then the biotin. And my doctor never recommended biotin. I just started the biotin because of the hair thing. And it looks like I'm getting real close to, to um, 10 minutes, so I can't believe I can ramble on that quick. So I'm just advising everyone out there, please be careful with your calcium. You don't want to develop osteoporosis. It's really important for us to, and, and to do that. And, and another thing you really need to look for is alimental calcium. That is the full amount of calcium you're going to get a lot of. Uh, calcium won't even list how much elemental calcium you're getting. Bariatric advantage, whether you like the taste or not, whether it's chalky or icky or whatever, you are going to get the full um, 400 milligrams of elemental calcium in every tablet. And you should only take 500 uh, milligrams at a time because the rest is just going to be washed out. So anyhow, that's all i got to say, and good luck to you. If you guys have any questions about calcium, give me a holler.